Hi there, I'm Casey with Inflatable Boat Specialist in Ventura, California. Today, I'm going to give a quick tutorial on how to set up an air deck inflatable boat, which isn't as straightforward as it may seem. Deploying an air deck inflatable boat is going to be a very similar process regardless of manufacturer. Now, you may be thinking that it's self-explanatory and all you have to do is just blow it up. And while that isn't far from the truth, there are some important aspects you want to get right such as inflation order and proper pressure. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using a Zodiac Cadet Aero, but you should find this video helpful for any other inflatable boat using an air deck as well. I will also be using this two-way foot-operated baffle style pump. This is the most common type of pump that you'll receive when you buy a new inflatable boat with an air deck. First, remove your boat from the storage bag and unroll it fully. Make sure to give a good couple pulls and shakes to spread it out as much as possible. Inflating the tubes needs to be done in the proper order to ensure the baffles in between the chambers are in the proper position. Start with the chambers to the stern and using the pump in the high volume low pressure mode, inflate them enough to partially hold their shape. Work your way to the front doing the same for each chamber. At this point, if you're going to put your seat on, now is the time as it will be easy to do while the boat is still flexible. Once you have all the chambers partially inflated, go back to the stern and fill up the rear chambers until full. Work your way forward again, filling each chamber up, finishing with the bow chamber. Do a third check and top up to make sure all tubes are at proper inflation pressure, which is about 3 psi. Speaking of pressure, many boats and pumps come with an inline pressure gauge to help you know once your boat has enough air. These gauges are helpful, but they aren't always user friendly. This isn't rocket science, folks. You will get a feel for when the pressure is right after you've set your boat up a few times. That being said, the number one issue we see users encountering on this type of boat is underinflation, which negatively affects on-water performance, so be sure to get that boat up to proper pressure. As a general rule of thumb, you want to have drum head tightness of the tube. If pushing on the tube with the fingertips, you should have no, if any, deflection. Move to the heel of the palm and you should get just a little give. Take a look at the seams as well. If the tube is bulged out on either side of it, you may actually be overinflated. Now, the next piece to inflate is the air deck. The drop stitch air floors most manufacturers use all require more pressure than the tubes. Use the pump to inflate it as much as possible. Then, switch the pump over to the high pressure mode and top up until you get into the seven to nine PSI range. Pumps vary in their operation, so be sure to consult your manual on the proper way to set the pump up for this task. The floor should feel rock hard with no give. Finally, after the tubes and the floor are inflated, inflate the keel last. Use the pump in the standard pressure mode again and inflate the keel to the same pressure as the tubes. The stiffness of the floor should hold firm and push the keel down into the fabric hull to create the V-shape, which allows these boats to move through the water with ease as well as track and maneuver more easily. Deflating the boat is the easy part. Simply open the valve and release the air pressure. Use the reverse direction that you inflate in. Deflate the keel, then the floor, and then the tubes. To stow the boat away, leave the valves open, fold the cones around the back of the transom, and pull the tubes toward the center of the boat. Rolling the boat up will push any of the remaining air out. Secure in the storage bag for safekeeping. Once again, I'm Casey with Inflatable Boat Specialist in Ventura, California. I hope you found this video to be helpful and informative. Leave a comment below if you have questions and let us know what you think or if there are other topics you would like to see us make videos about. Check out our website at www.inflatableboats.net. Give us a call at 805-644-6290. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and connect with us on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for joining me. I hope to see you on the water soon.